Hi friends, this is Pastor Harley with the Broadway Global Methodist Church. I have a devotion for you today from Matthew chapter 22, verse 46. Let me read the verse to you. It says, And no one was able to answer him a word, nor from that day did anyone dare to ask him any more questions. Now the ver verses refer to Jesus. In Matthew's uh, story, which if you've been reading through the Bible with the church this year, you would find that you're in, in the Passion narrative now. Jesus has entered Jerusalem. And, um, and well, the scribes and the Pharisees and other people uh, come up and they've tried to trap him in his words. Let's ask him about paying taxes to Caesar. Let's, let's uh, ask him about the resurrection and that. And he, even in, in, in the story as it goes, three questions are posed to Jesus. And he gives a, a marvelous answer to each one, showing God's truth, showing his spirit, pointing people towards the kingdom. <clears throat> and finally, he asks them a question, uh, referring to one of the Psalms that people said, you know, referred to the Messiah. The Lord said to my Lord, sit thou at my right hand. Yes. Well, if David's writing this, who is he calling Lord? Because we know the Messiah is descended from David, but somehow this Messiah is someone that David calls Lord. And uh, in other words, Jesus has succeeded in answering all questions. What I want you to think about is there's a point when we stop asking God questions. I don't tell people they shouldn't question God. I don't tell people that they cannot shout questions to God in prayers. Uh, it's very often that somebody will say to me well, as we're discussing, well, some say some sad event and saying, well, it's really difficult that that happened. But I guess we're not supposed to question why. Someone will say, well, I think you're allowed to do that. But there is a point at which God has answered all the questions. He has given us Jesus. The answers to your questions, your most griping questions, are contained in Jesus. We turn to Jesus and understand that my questions to God aren't even that important. And that's a very humbling experience because I happen to, to think all the things I think. I happen to agree with all my own opinions. And if I have questions that have been, been getting at me, I think they're extremely important questions, but there's a point at which God has said, here's my son, embrace him, let him live in your life. Let his spirit uh, be shed abroad in your heart. And indeed, all the questions are done at that point. Be blessed.